Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can archive SharePoint lists using Power Automate Flow. So most of the time, archiving SharePoint lists is very simple. In fact, there's actually simple um, actions in Flow which can help you do that. But in this video, I'm going to focus a little bit more on some of those, you know, a little bit interesting columns uh, which can, you know, make things a little bit complicated at time. That is the main purpose of this video over here. So let me kind of give you a quick presentation of what are those column types, and then I'll jump into the demo. And then this video is interesting and is what you're looking for. Um, then you can click on the link below, um, and that has the full detail of the entire process. So the type of lists that I'm looking for over here um, are the multiple lines of text columns with append changes. Now the append changes is where things get a little bit interesting uh, because what happens is uh, not only do you have to get the last entry, but all the appended items. Commenting type of columns are the main examples over here. A good example where you're going in and adding comments and updates. Those are the ones that are appended. Now, how do I grab all the appended items as well? I'll be focusing on that on this uh, example. The other one is choice type columns. Choice type columns can sometimes have single choices. They can have multiple choices, they have multiple selected items. How do I go ahead and append that as well or copy that over using Power Automate? That's what I'll cover over here. Lookup is another example, because in Lookup, you not only have to reference what are those items you're copying, but where those lookups are coming from. That's another thing that I'll copy on, um, and I'll focus on. And then finally, manage metadata type columns. You know, the manage metadata type columns reference the term sets, and in each of the terms, in the, in the manage metadata, in each of the term sets, and how do I go ahead and get that information as well. All of those will be, you know, uh, described in this video over here. So let me actually quickly show you in that SharePoint list so you kind of have an idea of what are the data that's copied over. And then once again, if it's a, if this is what you're looking for, this is what you're interested in, click on the link below, and then that'll take you to the website of my friends at Velo. And then over there, you can get the whole detail. I've even got a full article written over there, and that'll describe the entire process to you. So quickly, I want to jump into the list. This is a list, and I call them as two separate lists with append. Um, is the one which allows all the appending. That's also the parent list. And then I have a secondary list over here, which is the destination list or the child list. And over there, I'm not doing any, any appending. So what I can show you as an example is see this entry over here, that's an item. And this over here is where I've got a lot of appending going on. And I'm going and putting in multiple entries over here. Um, and see, I'm gonna be copying all of this. This over here is the choice type column, which also has multiple selections options. How I'm copying all of that. And then finally, over here, the department is actually a meta manage metadata type of column. So taking data from such a column type and then opening it and you know appending it over here or copying it over here to another destination of the child list, we can actually see this type of information. Um, not only am I getting just the um, you know from the manage meta uh, from the appended column types, not just the data, but I'm also getting what was the version number, what is the modified date, what was the comment, and who edited. I'm pulling all that information over here using my flow. Here's the other example. The choices, which are multiple selections, I'm going ahead and giving not only all the choices, but I'm also getting what were the numbering of those choices. And then finally, I was easily able to get the managed metadata back as well. So if this has sparked your interest and this is something that you're looking for, um, go ahead and click on the link below, and then you can continue getting the rest of the information. So keep power automating. Thanks.